Three note move, note function. Damn. Okay. Well, you jump right into it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have any questions? Uh, no. No, except that the, you wanted me to do it in, in this count for the one sixteenths. Um, did you want me to just go, because I, I can't play it that fast in sixteenths unless it's Well, no, really... don't worry about speed of the sixteenths. Just worry about focusing of lining up the, the notes with the count of the sixteenths. So it's like, um, okay. I mean, you could, you you could like, do... I mean, you could go one, E, and, uh, two. I mean, speed is not the issue. It's playing the right notes with the right counts. I don't know why you're smiling like that, because that's exactly the way I do it. <laughs> no, I mean, that's... Well, because you th might have thought it was, you know, ridiculous to do it that way. But, no, the point is, is to mm -hmm. get it lined up with the counts. Yeah. Okay. Right? So, now, with the 16th, you have to do it twice for it to come back around to the 1. Now, another important thing about the 16th is that you want to make sure that you're feeling the pulse on the downbeat, even if it's kind of like in that out-of-time kind of way, so you're creating the muscle memory of where you're actually, the body language is feeling the beat, right? Because very easily, if you're doing it that slow with the 16th count, you could go 1, E, and uh, 2, E, you know, you're feeling each beat on the 16th, and that's not right. It should be 1, E, and uh, 2, E, and uh, 3. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I, first of all, I kept every note pretty much the same emphasis, I guess, or uh, expression or articulation. Well, don't worry about accenting it. Yeah, just accent, feel. Yeah. Just, just don't. It's not about really hitting that note harder. Okay. It's just feeling the, the pulse with the body language on those places. So that you're not like one E and uh, two. You don't want it there. You want one E and uh, two E. Because when it gets in time and up to tempo, it's going to be one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four. And if you're used to doing it the other way, it's going to be one E and uh, two, you know. Yep, yep. Okay, well, in eighth notes, <laughs> uh, let's see. First, you want me to do note function. Yeah, right. just do okay. note function a couple times for note function awareness of where you are. Yeah. And also, this will create the geography box awareness. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And you want to make sure your pulse is on the one, two, three, fours here, too. Your body language pulse. In other words, like, just... Just kind of like lean into it, like tap your foot and lean into it lightly. You don't want it to be excessive, but you want to make sure that you're making a point about feeling this in a certain place. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three. See what I mean? Repeat the top and yeah. bottom notes. Okay. Do that with a count. Well, I'm not sure about your body language. I'm not really, I'm not really seeing the beat or feeling the beat from the way you're moving. Again, we don't want this to be excessive because, um, so I don't want it to be excessive just so that you can show me that you're doing it and then create bad muscle memory habits. Because when things get fast, if you're used to going one e and a two, if it's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e, you don't want to create that, right? Because that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen it happen. So. <laughs> In fact, I battled a thing like that with my own playing. That I created a muscle memory habit because I was working on feeling something so hard, you know. And then when I got to be, I would see videos of myself and I said, God, I look like a duck, you know. Or, <laughs> or a pigeon like walking down the street. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, 
those things can come back and be a real pain. So. Harder than you yeah. think. So you might want to, like, if you're not used to it, like, just take it out of context, but still f work on feeling that pulse because in all this stuff, when you're working on this, you want to let the vocal or the, in this case, feeling the pulse be a part of the working up process in the same way that, you know, like in working on some of that uh, style stuff earlier on, we had the count be part of the working up process, the one and two and three and four ends, right? That was part of the development of the line so that when it got to being, you know, up to tempo and playing that the vocalization was a, a very comfortable part of what you were doing because you are already used to physically doing it. So practicing physicality this brings up a great point. Practicing physicality is like is like a huge thing. That you don't wait to put it in last. You let it be part of the development process of what you're working on. Okay. You know, and this is simply so that it just actually it, it kind of slows up the short term because it's more stuff to kind of coordinate, but it speeds up the long term. So you don't have to go back and put it in later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I just haven't been doing it like that. Well, just start start working on it like that. Break. Spend some time breaking it down to where you're going one and two and three and four and one to where your focus is really on feeling the downbeats, you know, on the numbers. Mm -hmm. But watch out for excessive body movement. You don't want to, like, program this massive movement of doing it, you know, because that, again, can come back and hurt you later too it should be subtle but it should be definite